Before Encanto was released, many fans speculated whether or not Mirabelle would have a magical gift like the rest of her family. Then when the movie finally came out, that all changed with many landing on the side of the argument saying that she was the only member of the Madrigals that didn't get a gift. But much like every Disney movie, the longer that its wonderful fans have time to analyze it, the more possibilities seem to appear. In this case, it's starting to look like Mirabelle did get a gift when she was younger after all. And if this theory's right, then make no mistake, it's a really dark one. Although what makes things even more interesting is the fact that if Mirabelle did get a gift, it likely didn't reveal itself to the audience until after Louise's iconic song. Throughout the entire movie, the common theme seemed to be that Mirabelle didn't get a magical power like the rest of her family, but it turns out her gift may have been the strongest one of them all. You see, there's a theory floating around that when Mirabelle touched the doorknob on that fateful night, instead of not being granted a gift, she was given the ability to alter reality into whatever she perceived it to be. In other words, the way she felt about the world and the things that she thought were happening would actually end up happening. Now, what's really interesting is that if this theory turns out to be true, then almost everything that happened to the magical family was because Mirabelle willed it to happen in the first place. Here's the kicker though. The only way the theory makes sense is if nobody, including Mirabelle, realized that she had this dark gift. That would be the only way to explain why it didn't truly start to affect the world around them until Louisa began to grow concerned about the magic. That's really when Mirabelle's gift became much more apparent in the movie. But if you didn't know to look for it, then it's easy to see why you would believe Mirabelle to be giftless. The first thing you need to do to understand this theory is to take it back to the beginning, where the overbearing weight of Abuela's expectations actually shaped Mirabelle's gift into the dark power that it ended up becoming. It all started on that fateful day when Mirabelle was supposed to get her gift. From the movie's perspective, it made it look like Mirabelle didn't receive any gift, and because of that, she became a disappointment to Abuela. But according to this theory, that wasn't the case at all. Instead, when Mirabelle reached out for that magical doorknob, she was granted the ability to alter reality into whatever her mind perceives as real. And if you're wondering why she wouldn't just imagine her herself with a more noticeable gift and turn that into reality, it's probably because Mirabelle didn't even realize she had one in the first place, let alone one that's so powerful and potentially dark. This is probably because her gift didn't fully manifest itself until Mirabelle felt she truly needed it to help her family, like after Louise's song where she expressed to her little sister about feeling weaker than usual. The movie showed that despite Mirabelle being so young at the time, she clearly understood the pressure of being a madrigal and finally being granted a power of her own. This is why she seemed so worried when it came time for her to touch the candle and then reach out for the doorknob, because she was afraid that she would let her grandmother down if the mystical candle decided that she didn't get a gift. And since she thought that she wasn't going to be special, her gift to alter reality made it appear as if she was just plain Mirabelle without anyone even realizing it. At least, that's the case if this theory proves true, and it seems likely when you consider the rest of the evidence from the movie. It turns out that while Mirabelle was waiting on a miracle, she actually had one the entire time. Actually, if Mirabelle's hidden gift was powerful enough to alter reality, it's more like she was the miracle the entire time. During that beautifully sad song in Encanto, Mirabelle was not only expressing her feelings about being left out of the family, but also showing the world that she could bend reality to her whim without even realizing it. While it was most likely assumed by fans that all of the visuals that were shown during that song were merely in the young Madrigal's head, this theory claims that wasn't the case at all. Rather, everything that she was seeing was really happening around her, including that smooth, slow motion motion shot at the beginning of the song, and even the casita beginning to crack. Think about it. Mirabelle was so worried that she wasn't as special as the rest of her family that it felt like her world was literally falling down around her. And according to this theory, since her gift was to be able to unknowingly alter reality, the casita actually started to crumble. That's why Mirabelle got a real cut from that broken shingle that she picked up. But when she went to show her abuela that their home was breaking down, Mirabelle likely knew on a subconscious level that her family would think she was crazy and once again unknowingly altered reality back to where the casita wasn't in shambles. Now, it's easy to understand why a lot of viewers thought that the visuals from Waiting on a Miracle were simply in Mirabelle's head when you realize that it wasn't until Louisa's song that the movie first truly hinted at the idea of Mirabelle possessing a magical gift. Louisa's song Surface Pressure is arguably one of the best songs in the entire movie, but now it's looking like it might be the song that secretly revealed Mirabelle's dark gift to the audience. Surface Pressure was a song that most people in the world could probably relate to in one way or another, but in 
the movie, it played a special role in Mirabelle's storyline, according to this theory. Following what seemed like a normal breakfast outdoors with the family, Mirabelle tracked down Louisa to ask her about the magic that surrounded their family. This is the point in the movie that Mirabelle learned that Louisa was feeling the same pressure from Abuela that Mirabelle was feeling, just on a very different level. On top of that, it was also the first time that someone other than Mirabelle mentioned feeling the magic slipping. And according to the theory, that statement about feeling weak during Antonio's ceremony confirmed for Mirabelle that the magic was fading away. So that's when her dark gift first officially reared its head and began to alter reality for the world around Mirabelle. When Mirabelle heard that Louisa sensed the magic was fading, Mirabelle's dark gift began to change reality to make it so that the magic was actually indeed fading. In other words, Mirabelle started unknowingly making her family's magical powers weaker. And from that moment on in the movie, it's almost as if Mirabelle was able to shape the rest of her family's gifts into what she perceived them to be all along. She thought that Louisa was losing her power, so according to the theory, she took her strength away. Then with her other sister Isabella, the result was sort of the opposite. During the beautifully animated song, What Else Can I Do?, Isabella was able to explore her powers more than she ever had. Something a lot of people believed was that she was finally letting loose instead of trying to be perfect for her abuela. However, if this theory proves true, it might have had something to do with Mirabelle's dark gift to shape the world into what she believed it to be. Once Mirabelle realized that her sister, who she thought was so perfect, was only acting that way for their abuela, she saw that there was more to her than beautiful little flowers. And because of that, Mirabelle once again altered reality without anyone realizing it and unlocked a more expressive version of Isabella's powers. You have to admit, it's a little weird that Isabella had been using her powers for so long, but simply didn't know that she could conjure more than the standard floral arrangement. It wasn't until Mirabelle saw the truth about Isabella that her powers changed, which has led some to speculate that the young Madrigal was involved in some way. Now, while it goes without saying that Mirabelle's secret dark gift may have been responsible for a lot of the conflict that happened to the Madrigals in the movie, it should also be pointed out that they wouldn't have been able to ultimately restore order if it hadn't been for Mirabelle. While the movie implied that Mirabelle was able to fix the family's magic by helping them to realize that they don't need powers to be special, according to the theory, there might have been more to it than that. If this theory is accurate, then it would have been a reality-altering magic power that made it possible for the rest of the Madrigals to use all of their gifts once again. It's likely that once she saw that everyone was happy and together again, that she would have realized that the only thing missing was their wonderful and friendly casita. And once they finally finished building their home back up, the theory claims that the young Madrigal felt as though order was restored in her family, and because of that, her mind altered reality once again and restored her family to their former magical glory. Now, whether or not this theory ends up being true is not entirely up to you or me, as it can only be confirmed by Disney when they finally release Encanto 2. Sadly though, Encanto 2 hasn't been officially confirmed by the House of Mouse. That said, the first one was arguably the most popular movie in 2022, with it being the most watched film across all streaming platforms in the US, so it would be smart of Disney to create a sequel eventually. And when they do, hopefully they'll dive a bit deeper into Mirabelle's potentially dark gift of altering reality around her as she perceived it to be. What do you think about the idea of Mirabelle's gift, though? Was she given the dark power to rewrite her family's reality, or was she truly giftless after all? Be sure to let me know in the comments below.